previously on the Valley. So I decided to go to Creative Images and get an updated look. Different. When it all comes down to it, I would enjoy being a music teacher, but overall I wanted to be the artist, like performing and stuff, because that's what I love to do, that's my passion. Well, um, there's something I've been meaning to tell you and talk to you about. Um, I'm kind of gay. This was my first gay event I have ever been to, so I was pretty surprised. I just love the atmosphere, to be honest. Everybody has something to prove, so what's your story? These are the best days of our lives. Yesterday, my mom wanted me to move out with my grandpa. She wanted me to move out to get a better taste of the real world, to start taking more responsibility for myself. Um, I'm kind of excited about it, actually, because I'm finally, you know, somewhat on my own. Living on my own, one of the biggest things I'll be responsible for is pretty much everything. My mom does everything for me. Donald is a mama's boy, and he wanted to be here, but I felt like he needed that little bit of a push because he's not doing the traditional thing of going away to college, you know, so he can kind of transition out on his own. I thought that it would be a good idea for, okay, if this is something that you want to do, then go over to Grandpa's. You don't have me kind of breathing down your back and telling you what you need to do. You can kind of figure it out for your own self. But basically, he's a good, he's a good person. I'm proud. I think a lot of people find it, would find it funny that I actually applied and decided to go to UC without actually even visiting it first. My mentor Chris and a representative of the UC gay community volunteered to give me a tour of the UC campus. Since Chris is also going to the University of Cincinnati, I decided to go ahead and invite him along so that way he could learn a little bit about the campus as well. It's crazy to think how we're going to be here in two months. I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> I heard you applied, accepted here, and you never visited campus. No, I didn't actually. I didn't check out any campuses actually <laughs> that I applied to. That's crazy. Where are you staying? Daniels, where are you staying? I'm in Calhoun. Really? Hey, Chris. Hey, how are you? Hey. Good, how are you? Good to see you again. Good to see you as well. Good this is see you. other Chris. Hey. <laughs> I'm Chris Siegelbach. I'm on City Campus. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, so I'm really excited to give you guys a tour of campus. Who's uh, living here in Daniels? I am. Nice. Everyone says that you make the most friends here in this hall, so you'll have a great time. Um, so you've never been to campus either, right? No, I haven't. So awesome. you decided to come to UC without ever visiting the campus? <laughs> I mean, I was just stunned. Like, UC is one of the most beautiful campuses I've ever been to. It's on Forbes. It's one of the most beautiful campuses. Like, how Nathan had not been there, like, before accepting. It, it's astounding to me. <laughs> yeah, by it's crazy. <laughs> it's a little crazy. Awesome. Well, let's get going on the tour. Awesome. So, over there is our football stadium. Um, it's really great because it's built right into the center of campus. Easy to go to. It's a lot of fun when there's football games going on. And you can just go down there anytime you want and just hang out. Um, the LGBTQ Center is over there. It's a great resource. They have a lot of great people there who you can meet and really help you out uh, while you're adjusting to UC. Um, and then finally, up here is TUC. Uh, it's a great place to kind of relax. You can have a break. There's some food. Or if it's a hot day like today, you can get some ice cream. It's in the air conditioning. I think that's what we should do. <laughs> I agree. So um, I decided to break off from the group and kind of walk around on my own just so I could go see all the details of, of UC and see how incredible everything is. Thank you for the tour today. Yeah, no problem. It's nice meeting you. You too. Good to meet you. Nice meeting you as well. I'll see you guys later. All right, Take care. You. Have fun. I mean, being at UC was just really fun. Like, I just can't wait to be there come the fall. Um, you know, I just feel like the type of people at UC are gonna gonna click with me, and I feel like I'm gonna find my click. I'm gonna find my niche, and I'm gonna be able to do what what I want to do with my future there. <laughs> So you 
decided to come to the University of Cincinnati without ever seeing the campus, but now you've seen it, so what do you think? I think I'm going to love it. Actually, I know I'm going to love it. It was really cool to actually be able to do a tour because I had no idea um, where anything was, so I would have probably moved to UC without knowing anything about it, and it's... It relieves a lot of stress, I think, to actually know where, for example, the rec center is or Tangman University. Real thoughts. Getting to go to Kings Island free is a blast. Kings Island because I've grown up here. I used to come here every summer with my friends. Kings Island for me was kind of the place to escape as a kid. We have platinum passes for the past couple of years, so we go a lot. Kings Island to me is a bunch of memories and fun. Kings Island is just like about the thrill of just like falling on the roller coasters and like near death experience and then not. Kings Island growing up was a good experience. I like it. When I saw the football game, I was so pumped because I love all the games that are like throwing, and since I like football so much, I was like, let's go. <laughs> Alexis is really nice. Um, she's definitely very, like, really, um, I can't find the word for it, but she's. She's fun. She's a fun individual. I enjoy her. Um, there are a lot of a lot of moments where I'm like, what? But she's fun. She's different. I've never seen anybody like her. Met anybody like her. Chris, let's see your Kings Island is like my sense of accomplishment, pretty much, because I just found out that I'm better at football than anyone else here. So it pretty much boosts my self-esteem a lot. I won this. I hope Christmas football doesn't say too much about Centerville, because wow, that was an ouchie. I don't know. <laughs> I should have joined the team if I knew that was the skill needed. Since I don't ride rides at Kings Island, I, you know, my thing is the games. I like to play the games. I didn't really lose to a girl. You know, I allowed her to win because that's the gentleman thing to do. <laughs> But I, Donald, um, he's really nice. I enjoy talking to him. So from what I know about him, he's a really nice guy, has a good head on his shoulders. If I could pick who I want to be with, I'll be with Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie, she's cute. You know, we just pull, we just pull up, you know. Like loved prank wars. You have to, you have to start them. And so I was like, Allie, come on. Like it was our ice cream was melting. Like it was gonna go to waste anyway. Seize the opportunity. Put the ice cream in the face. <laughs> I don't know. We were just Donald and I were just walking, and all of a sudden. <laughs> Kind of shocked because I was wearing a white shirt and I got it all over my white shirt and I was like, Alexis, you are totally paying for this shirt to get it dry clean. No, I'm not dry cleaning Chris's shirt. He's going to college. He needs to learn how to do it. I didn't react how I wanted to because it just happened so fast. I wanted to <laughs> turn around, take the ice cream, and put it back on her face. Like <laughs> that's not cool. We, the girls are victorious. We're winning the prank war. Ali and I, killing it. I love having people at my dad's house because it's not every day that people will make the trip down there since it's so far. And the view is unbeatable, so I just love being able to lay out by the pool and watch the boats pass. So I was like, everyone should come down. I, everyone gets the chance. Let's all come down and let's all lay out and have a pool day. Hey. Hey. How are you? Good. Your dad's place is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. okay. Nothing can beat the day at the pool. I love the sun and 
To me, that is like my typical perfect day, is just sitting outside in the sun. So how was your pageant? It went really well. I mean, that was my second pageant. Yeah. I got second place. And because I got second, I now have, like, the title of Miss North Central Teen Ohio. What? Yeah, like, I have my own title and stuff, so that's going to be oh nice. God. And I got $250 so cool. for the state pageant. Oh, like, my gosh. Was, was it awesome. so fun? Oh, it was so much fun. Aww. Yeah, it was a good time. So cool. I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm glad the sun's finally out, though. I can't wait for everyone else to get here. I know, this is going to be such a nice day. Oh, it's going to be great. Hey, Alexis. How are you? This is awesome. Yeah. This is super duper nice. Going forward. <laughs> I was really excited that we got to go down to Alexis' dad's pool. I love Cincinnati and just being so close to the river, like it was such a beautiful scene. I previously came out to the girls, so I decided that I should probably come out to the guys. So I pulled him aside so we can talk. I previously came out to the girls, so I decided that I should probably come out to the guys. So I pulled him aside so we can talk. <laughs> I mean, this place is pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, it is. Super nice. I understand. She's super lucky. <laughs> Um, Allie definitely looks pretty hot today, though. I think they all look pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I like Stephanie's from too. Yeah, the one piece. Mm -hmm. So, uh, last Saturday I was actually here, um, went to a concert. It was a free concert. Really? Um, and I actually met someone there that really? we all just kind of hung out, and uh -huh. it was just a great time. My we weekend was kind of boring. I went to the mass Friday night. There were some strippers there and everything. Was that interesting? Yeah, it was pretty interesting. Yeah, Friday nights they got the strippers and they have like drag queen, like they sing and all that kind of stuff. It's guy strippers. Um, I actually am gay, <laughs> but um, I expect that. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't know, but yeah, I had never d done something like that, so it was pretty interesting to actually see guys like all, you know, stripping basically. But oh. yeah, if there were guys, uh, how long have you been gay? Well, uh, all of my life, <laughs> but since puberty, yeah, in fifth grade, you know, puberty, all that stuff, people are like, oh, I watch, you know, porn type thing, so I kind of like started watching porn, and then I was like, all I like to look at is the, the guys, so then I kind of looked up one day what the two guys was like, and I liked it, so, yeah, that was kind of how I figured out. I knew from our previous UC visit that Nathan was gay. Uh, you know, I thought it was really brave of him to take the time out of his day and sit down and tell Donald and I together because he hadn't officially told us. Okay. Yeah, you know how you told me uh, Donald was texting you? Yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> listen, yeah. So I'm in the car driving home with him, and I was talking about, like, girls and stuff. And he says something, and he's like, he's like, yeah, like, I like white girls. He's like, but I love me my Hispanic. <laughs> I was like, oh! <laughs> well, that's awesome. That's okay. yeah. <laughs> I think he likes me. Yeah, that's probably okay, I know. He likes me just because when we're in the pool. Did you not hear us arguing? No. no. Okay, well, at the Hispanic Festival. Okay, there's this guy. His name's Kevin. And he's always, like, trying to talk to me. He's a nice person, too. Aww. But all of a sudden, Donald started getting jealous. I, I like, he started saying something about <laughs> show this around, like, us. Because I was, like, talking about no, it. He, he, like, no, he doesn't say anything about no. it to me. He's trying friends. to be low key. Yeah. And I wouldn't mind Donald. It's just, I think he needs to stop. Fronting, yeah. you know, like he's just yeah, he's he not himself. Because he says he's like trying to play the field. And yeah. Says, Speaking of play the not field. What? Play the field. Who said? Did I say that one? What? He said play the field. <laughs> he's trying to play the field. Am I part of the field? New rule. No, my new rule when dating people is they have to be able to bench press me. And if you can't bench press me, it's out of the question. Donald. Donald. Oh, Donald. Bench press you. Well, like, should we like bring him over? <laughs> okay, so I just like explained the rule that you can't date someone that can't bench press you, so we're going to see if you guys can bench press us. Oh, so. us? I thought just Donald and Steph. Okay. Well, well, anyway, we're seeing if we can be done. We're seeing if we can be done. <laughs> a guy has to be able to bench press you. Okay, if you're in a fire and they can't lift you, that's an issue. They have to be able to bench press you. Okay, someone spot me. He said he can't 
Come on, Allie. I spot you? No, you're lame. So I have to spot me and make sure if I drop you, I don't kill myself. <laughs> you do it. Wait, you take my spot. I'm going to grab your butt and your back. Butt and her back. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, now you have to lift your legs up. <laughs> it's weird because I can feel her spine. <laughs> I hate the feeling it gets him. Too. You don't trust him. The worst thing is you fall like a foot. It's like so grass like really it's like soft. a 30 feet. 30 yeah, feet it hits off. right there. Touch your thigh. <laughs> oh my god. Alexis got this great idea that since we're men and we're so masculine, we can just bench them. Oh, wait, do you have like a. Oh. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie wasn't going for it. I don't see why not. I just wanted to pick her up. Don't, <laughs> don't grab. Just, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Hey! Stop, no, lay straight. You just made it work. He did it. If you would have moved, he would have gone. He had it. He had it. Do it again. You're not boyfriend material. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> I get it. She's in a bathing suit. She doesn't want to be bench pressed. That's fine. That's fine. But like, she knew we were doing it. So, they, and then they just all freaked out. I don't know. When <laughs> we, I go to bench her, she, you know, like, there's no way around it. You're going to have to sit on my hand. Like, it's, you can't, like, you can't sit your back on my hand. Your back doesn't bend that way. And it wasn't like, no, like, nothing like I meant to do. Like, let me grab your butt. I just was like, <laughs> Everyone failed miserably. Everyone failed miserably. I honestly think I might have gotten the closest with Allie, but no, that didn't actually happen. At the pool party, my dad brought down golf clubs, so I was like, gotta show off my wicked golf swing since some people tend to think I'm so unathletic. Again. Oh, no, God. earlier it went so far. I'm disappointed. <laughs> mm, no, it's not stop. <laughs> I'm just being a supportive friend. <laughs> I mean, I've golfed before, so I should be good. That's the thing. Go. Yep, I feel so pressured. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> that was good, okay? Yeah, there was a little golf range drive thing at Alexis's dad's house that we all swung off of and it was hilarious. Mine wasn't too good, but uh, Stephanie's was pretty funny. I'm about to like go on a first date with her. She has to get this. farther than you are. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> Just has to work on some form a little bit. It was kind of chopping it like a piece of wood. Okay, there are these girls from her school, mm -hmm. uh, Springboro, mm -hmm. and they're her grade. Well, like my ex thing, like we didn't even date. <laughs> ex thing. Ex thing, because we didn't date. Uh, he was at, he went to her school, but he's a year above us. And Johnny was out of town this past weekend. And I went to a concert, uh, and he ended up being there. Your ex? Yeah. Um, no, I recently bumped into an ex, and so then we just kind of hung out because we were all together, and Johnny wasn't happy at first, but I ended up hanging out with him like the whole concert, so yeah, Johnny got pretty mad, but we're good now. How did Johnny find out? I told him. I tell him everything. <laughs> That's not even the good part. Keep going. Why like, would you hang out with your ex? Because like, we weren't going to do anything. We were at a concert. It's not Was like he flirting? No. Okay, don't know me. Yeah. <laughs> was yeah, okay, yeah, maybe like a little bit. But, like, nothing happened, and I just told Johnny, I was like, I mean, because I, I apologized. I was like, Johnny, I'm sorry, like, I hung out with, like, Jake longer than I should have. Yeah, think? I wouldn't have talked to you. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have talked to you. <laughs> when I was talking about hanging out with, like, a guy I knew that wasn't Johnny, Stephanie, like, freaked out, and she was like, why would you do that? And that just, like, wasn't for her to criticize. I don't know. She doesn't know my relationship, so it wasn't for her to criticize. Yeah, it went back. But it's all good this weekend, and Johnny and I are going to a concert yeah. tonight, and it's going to be all better. You guys are fine. Like, there's, there's yeah, he went to my pageant last night. After we hung out by the pool, my dad had surprised us with a bunch of surprises, actually, for a really nice dinner. And 
We had to get ready first, though, so the pampering began. Okay, guys, so we're going to dinner at Jeff Ruby's Precinct, but first I have a huge surprise for you guys. For those who don't know, the precinct actually used to be an old police station, and it's been restored, and there's actually pictures of old officers that worked at the place, so it's really cool to go inside. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the precinct. Come right this way. Did everyone have fun today at the pool? Oh my gosh, at least. Yeah. I had a lot of fun, yeah. I didn't expect to have fun. Like, I don't know why, but I didn't expect to have fun. But I had a lot of fun. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, I can't. So I really can't. Um, I like the proposal. Though. <laughs> um, thank you Aww. for this wonderful dinner. Um, you had a great time tonight or earlier at the pool, and I just want to thank you for all that. Thank you guys for looking so wonderful. <laughs> and the rest of the summer, right? The conversation about what 18-year-olds nowadays are doing really doesn't surprise me at all. I've been to parties in the country, I've been to parties in the city, like I've been to those environments before and you know, I just, it didn't surprise me talking about it and how everyone had their own experiences with the different areas that they grew up in. So are there like crazy parties, like do city, like in the city, like do they actually go well? Like, <laughs> I'm confused, because like, like I said, well. they always got narked out where I live, so. Center was yeah. had some rough ones. I feel like the difference between like where we live and where you guys live is you guys drink and we smoke. Like uh, our section really, yeah. smoke. Mm -hmm. Like weed is a big you know, thing. I think smoking is a really low key thing at Centerville. Like they do it, they just don't advertise it. It's all right. like people just do it. I'm not really very surprised about all the alcohol and drugs people use. Like it happens. It's life. So like the suburbs like drink like alcohol and basically and the apparently city, the city smokes. smokes. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. That kind of makes sense actually because like we don't have as much anxiety. I thought like smoking was for more of like anxiety. <laughs> like we don't have stress. Like I don't think that uh, parents and school on. administrators right. know what's going on yeah. because I would hope if they knew of some of these events they'd be stopped. <laughs> so besides people like drinking and smoking at parties, um, have any funny hookup stories? So what are we defining as hooking up though? I thought it was sex. Yeah, I sex. thought that's what it was too. Everything, yeah. I think it's pretty much anything sexually. Make anything that would be considered cheating. Make out? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I, I thought don't... someone said. Is make out? No, it's yes. not. Yes, it is. It is? Anything, oh, yeah. Anything that if you had to tell your boyfriend you did that, you'd be in trouble. Oh, I should I told Johnny everything. There's some bread. Yeah, no. Yeah, he knows everything. Everything. Have you done anything and you've told him about it? No, like before we were dating, before we were dating, I like saw some guys and I like told him. Okay. Okay. So like now he knows everything. Yeah. That was a while ago. Has he cheated on you before? Uh. Um, do I get you a cake? Is that no? Coming up on the valley. My partner in the three-legged race was Alexis. It was a lot of fun, but I don't know if I liked having Alexis as my partner. But besides the fact that she's rude and like we clash, maybe there will be tension. I mean, that season last year changed my life. For more on the valley, visit DaytonCW.com.